It matters where you buy bundles. Paxify. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. As I hinted on my previous video, the Summer Games event will cross over with the Survival of the Fittest Bloodsport event and the State of Survival recurring event. If you would like to know more about the layout of this event, you can check out the link above, or alternatively you can check out the link in the description below. I appreciate that some of your states may not have survival of the fittest blood port event, but will have the SVS preparation stage. However, in this video, I will share with you the tips and tricks as to how you can maximize your rewards, focusing between the Summer Games Points Race event, survival of the fittest blood port event, and the state of survival recurring event. If you like my videos, please show this gorilla some love and smack that subscribe button and turn on the notification bells for more amazing videos. Did you know the recycling center is back in its full form? You can check out my video in the link above, or alternatively I have added the link in the description below on how to utilize this feature to its maximum potential. However before that, I would like to ask you. Would you like to save some money from your bundles? Would you like to be able to find a way to find good deals on your in-game bundle purchases? Would you like to see the monies you spend in the game take you further than ever before? Then let me introduce you to Paxify. The legitimate mobile discount service that is helping the gaming community save money. It is trusted by many of the top players in State of Survival and have received amazing positive feedback. There are many folks out there now that are already using Paxify enabling them to go further in their adventure than ever before. Now imagine what and where you would be by now if you've been using their services all these while? So what are you waiting for? Check out their link in the description below and start saving today. As such on Sunday, if you are like me and you have many worthless epic hero fragments, I would recommend that you use the Recycling Center to exchange up to 2000 epic hero fragments to obtain 1.2 million points in the Battle Power Up recurring event. However, if you don't have as many, avoid using up all your materials. Separately, some of you may have your Reservoir Raid game on Sunday, and some of you may be participating in the Helicopter Coordinated Operations event. If you have the chance to watch my tips and tricks to rank high in the Helicopter Coordinated Operations event, you would have noted I advised that you can use Biocaps to help you and your Alliance to rank high in this event. Thus, you may naturally end up spending some Biocaps to perform well in these events. As such, some of you may naturally already achieve the minimum required to hit the points race event targets for today. So don't do anything more than unlocking the rewards tiers for today. On Monday, I would once again recommend using the Recycling Center. Here you have two options, you could choose to recycle some hero gear parts or hero gear designs in order to achieve all the minimum points race event rewards, or alternatively you may want to use speedups to do this. If you were to use speedups to do this, then this will allow you to recycle more useless epic hero fragments for points in the battle power up recurring event. Do the bare minimum and avoid doing anything else. On Tuesday, it's all about rallying infected fiend and killing infected. This will allow you to hit the rewards target for both the points race and the infected cleanup recurring event. If you have unlocked the plasma purification center, it would also be worth to purify plasma up to heat 20 on this day. Again I would advise you to do the bare minimum to grab the event rewards for the day and avoid doing anything else. On Wednesday is the best day to use all your aircraft or helicopter materials. Since you will also obtain points for consuming bio caps in the points race event whilst doing raise place, this will be another task that I will surely highly recommend that you undertake on Wednesday rather than Tuesday. Then, there is also the opportunity to use the Recycling Center to exchange more useless epic hero fragments to obtain more points. Avoid doing anything else. On Thursday is the best day to use all your Chief Gear badges. For sure most states will activate the state buff for troops training on this day, but I would recommend that if you are able to activate the state troop training buff on Saturday. The state can enjoy double amazing rewards on Saturday in conjunction with the points race event. It is also another day of opportunity to use the Recycling Center feature to exchange hero gear parts and hero gear designs if you want to rank high in the survival of the fittest Bloodsport event. If you are struggling for points, you can use some of the epic searches maps and advanced searches maps to hit your rewards targets. Otherwise, I would advise not doing anything else. On Friday is the best day to use up all your epic searches maps, advanced searches maps, using speedups and plasma cores. It is the best day to hit those higher ranks in both events at one go. So you know what you need to do now. 
Saturday is the last day for the points race event. I previously mentioned, if you keep those speedups to train or upgrade troops on Saturday. Well, I hope you can see why I made this recommendation now. As you train or upgrade troops for the survival of the fittest event, those speedups used will count towards the points race event. Separately, for those mega spenders, hunting for the top HQ skins, using bio caps to train or upgrade your troops will also get doubly good rewards. I would avoid upgrading my chief gear until Sunday, if possible. Then finally, on Sunday, whilst the points race event is over, you can still use the recycling center feature to exchange those useless epic fragments to obtain points in the survival of the fittest Bloodsport event. I will also ask you to upgrade any chief's gear. Since, the last day is only about sending out your troops to farm to collect points, those whom are able to upgrade their chief's gear on this day will surely take the higher daily rank in the survival of the fittest Bloodsport event. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. I wish these tips, tricks, and hints will help you rank high in these triple yummy events. If you like my videos, please do subscribe, leave a comment and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos.